drink, my love. What do you fancy? Wow. Do, you, um, do you like blue nun? Do you like a drink, Richard? I'm not a massive drinker. I find it very difficult to maintain consciousness normally. <laughs> Let alone with the aid of alcohol. Oh, so um, I mean, I'm happy. I've got a Kiora or a Capri Sun. I would love a Kiora. <coughs> I really like weak, nostalgic juice drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lied. I ain't got it. Sorry, oh, love. It sick. was a mojito. Do you want to have a mojito? They're nice. Go on. All right. Let your hair down. Okay. Don't bully. Don't don't bully me. <laughs> <laughs> now, even though I wasn't even nominated this year. Yes. I've got to say congratulations on your BAFTA. You must oh, be well right. checked. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So what happened then? Did you party the night away afterwards? Well, the dinner afterwards was already quite late. Um, but luckily, I'd had a late lunch, so I was fine. <laughs> um, but I think a lot of the emotion in those speeches is actually down to hunger. <laughs> hunger management. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I had handled by... I ate probably about 3.30 to 4. So um, they didn't eat till half ten, which is crazy. Oh, my God. That's just sitting there, isn't it? Exactly. That is just sitting there. So the main course didn't rock up till about half eleven, and I was chuckling to myself. I thought, I've had a roast at four. <laughs> my, my... I mean, I'm fine. My insulin levels were stable. It was yeah. good. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How'd you like your first mojito? I disliked it. <laughs> now, you won it for playing Moss in the IT crowd. It finished last year. What a wonderful way to end it, though, winning a BAFTA. Isn't that lovely? Well, I mean, it's all Graham. I mean, Graham Linehan writes it. Oh, he's he... a genius. He's a genius. You have this thing where, essentially, the character is great, and that's totally down to him, so I know that's what's uh, got the award, not my kind of impassive uh, reactions. I mean, this... <laughs> look, uh, ask me to portray anger. Be angry. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I, I have no emotional range. You're like... A... <laughs> I mean, uh, the problem is I, I can feel anger, but it doesn't correspond yeah. to any muscular movement in my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> You didn't just win the BAFTA, you won the best speech competition. His speech was so funny. I mean, was that off the cuff or had you had written it down before and or what? No, I mean, I presumed I would not win, so I, I didn't have anything uh, prepared. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you just have a kind of uh, a white wall of uh, panic, yeah. really. And um, when you go up, it's surprising how many people are there. And, yeah. you know, that um, is uh, terrifying. I won one last year, and uh, you just... You, you, like, you, you, in your head, you imagine walking up there coolly going, I'd like to thank, you know, my parents and everything. But you do go blank, and you go, Oh, my God, I can't believe it! <laughs> People are thinking, who's this twat? How's he won? You know, <laughs> That's why you need to have the late lunch. Yes, if I'd had a roast dinner... If yeah. you'd eaten at four, that wouldn't have yeah. happened. You'd be settled in nicely. In your speech, you said you're an inspiration for nasally-sounding men. Well, we are two peas in a pod there. Yeah. Am I quite nasal? <laughs> you sound more nasal than, like, Barry White, yes. <laughs> it's, oh. it's higher than... I mean, but, I, you know, so please... You know, you, you could probably be heard amongst chirruping wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called a seagull down the tip. That's nice. Yeah. Why does your why does your voice sound like that then? Have you had an accident? <laughs> like a kind of esophagus collapse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it, it, it's not ideal, <laughs> and yet somehow I must live with it. It is my voice. Yeah. I think it's a nice voice, but it's just very nasal. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's like a buzzsaw. You can take the piss out of my voice, love. Don't worry. No, it's all right. I don't want to bring it down to that kind of level. <laughs> all right. All right. I see what happens. You get people out, you force them to drink mojitos, and then you rag on their voice. <laughs> oh, is you're... it that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a feeder. <laughs> What's going on? Well, don't worry, love. I think it's lovely and it's... Well, you're very kind, yes, thank you. Yes. 
I'm contradicting myself. I know, we're time. up and down. It's, we haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> People who've uh, seen the IT crowd might not know, but you direct films as well, don't you, love? Yes, well, I try and keep it a secret so that attendance figures are low. <laughs> but, um, yes, I've directed uh, two films. One was called Submarine, Submarine um, yes. which one person saw. Um, <laughs> And uh, another film called The Double, yes. which is coming out on DVD, which even that person who saw Submarine didn't see. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, they're both... Well, it's difficult to know which one is the best film ever made, but it's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I watched The Double last night, Did you? Yeah. How did it you find it? It effed with my head. Did it? It's very, can I say this, Kafka-esque? Yes, you can. Look at me, swallowing a Kindle, yes. <laughs> Yes, well, you know, the double is about this very timid, mild-mannered man yeah. who finds one day that there's an exact replica of him yeah. in the world who starts to take over his life. Yeah. They say everyone's got a doppelganger, yeah? Yes. Have you ever met your doppelganger? Well, this is the thing, if you meet your doppelganger, you die. <laughs> no shit. Yes, shit. <laughs> But, you know, it, it, the doppelganger really is some kind of dark half of your own soul that could not exist but for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at a clip. This is Simon discovering that girl he fancies has a thing for his doppelganger in the double. Now, to get Jesse Eisenberg to star in your film, yeah. it must mean that Hollywood is sniffing about, isn't it? Like a poodle. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you've dipped your toe into Hollywood, don't you, with that film, The Watch, with Ben Stiller? I was... I attended that shoot. Yes. Yes. But, I, I mean, did you... Could you get used to that? No, I don't think so. That's... I just don't really understand why you would need to go there. And also, when I did that film, we were in Atlanta anyway, because they oh, don't... Oh, so you weren't they, even in Hollywood. They often don't film things there because they uh, get tax breaks elsewhere. And also, as my wife said, I merely looked like I just won a competition to be in a film with movie stars. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> arsh, isn't it? No, no, that is accurate. And she's lovely, and she was right, because in many scenes, I just thought, why is Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn looking at me? Oh, yeah, I'm in a scene with them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, congratulations on the BAFTA, my love. You're very kind. And good luck with the double. The DVD's out soon, isn't it? It will be out soon. It's just finished in cinemas, so this is great timing. And, um... <laughs> so, that clip really was an illustration of what you could have enjoyed had you been in the past. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank Richard you. <laughs> Richard Ayardi!